A Seed is Sleepy by Diana Hutz Aston, illustrated by Sylvia Long. A seed is sleepy. It lies there, tucked inside its flower, on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug, still. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two, waiting for the warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. Ten years might pass before the bright red-orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. A seed is fruitful. Ninety percent of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruits, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. A seed is naked. Yes, naked. Scientists call gymnosperms, seeds that aren't clothed in fruits, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. Who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as seeds, though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mer palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine silky hairs can take a dandelion seed 100 miles from its parent plant. Drift seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float, and their thick protective shells keep out seawater. A seed is inventive. To find a spot to grow, a seed might leap from its pod, or cling to a child's shoestring, or tumble through a bear's belly. A seed hopes to land where there is plenty of sunlight, soil, and water. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant, or embryo, a seed coat to keep it warm. The embryo's first meal comes from its seed leaves, or cotyledons. Seeds with one seed leaf, like corn, are called monocots. Seeds with two seed leaves, like beans, are called dicots. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree. After it was unearthed from a long ago King's Mountaintop Palace in Israel, a scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. A seed is thirsty and hungry. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain, the dew, and yesterday's icicles. It feasts on minerals in the soil. Part of the seed, the root, feels the tug of gravity and digs down deep. Another part of the seed, the shoot, is sensitive to light, so it reaches for the sun. A seed is clever. It knows to seek the sunlight to push itself up, up, up through the soil. But it must wait a while before that happens. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight. Light gives them the energy they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, a gas in the air, into food. A seed is sleepy, 
but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. And here on the last page, we have pictures of the plants that grew from the seeds that were pictured on the first page.